If you fly much at night, you know how difficult it is to navigate the blue sea of airport lighting. But if you do it behind a panel that has substandard lighting, it can be even more difficult, if not dangerous. Hello everyone, I'm Larry Anglisano with AvWeb and Aviation Consumer, and in this video we're going to show you how you can upgrade the panel lights in your airplane. Here we are on the uh, avionics test bench, and uh, we've got a post lamp, uh, one of the more popular ways of lighting an instrument panel, and these post lamps simply snap into a socket that's part of a old and more than likely brittle overlay. And when they snap into place, they generally don't make good contact. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. It's either hit or miss. But the real problem is the wiring that lives behind this plastic overlay, generally old and brittle, and can be a huge source of intermittency. So here's a better way of lighting your instruments, more modern way. Uh, an internally lighted instrument uses a lighting tray. Well, they're not really internally lighted instruments as they're often called. This lighting tray has got two incandescent lamps on it and it simply sits on top of a bezel and shines light into the instrument. The problem there is it can cause some parallax issues and uh, a blinding effect as the light just kind of streams down uh, into the instrument and out the front of the glass rather than uh, being reflected inside of the face. Uh, the point is you want the lamps uh, uh, to be out of your face in a very darkened cockpit and an internally lighted instrument isn't the most effective way of doing it, although it's better than the alternative uh, post lamps that we just, uh, we just saw a moment ago. And a more modern or perhaps better way of lighting a instrument is using a instrument lighting wedge. Uh, now there are several manufacturers that make these wedges. Uh, one of the more popular is uh, called a new light and what that is is simply a lighting wedge, bezel wedge, that has uh, incandescent lamps built into the bezel itself and they get wired in series uh, to as many as six, seven, eight, as many instruments that you need lighted and they simply fit over the bezel of the instrument. Now if you're using an overlay, you're going to retain your plastic overlay. The wedge will simply fit between the instrument and the overlay. And if you're using a flat metal panel, the wedge is placed between the panel and the instrument itself. Uh, and that's uh, a preferred way of lighting an instrument because you've got uniform lighting around the entire bezel itself, which will prevent that parallax and blinding effect that you'll see with internally lighted instruments. Now these bezel wedges can be bought for about $50 a piece, and uh, they're also available in a, an electroluminescence lamp, uh, which provides even more uniform lighting. The trouble there is, an uh, compared to an incandescent lamp, electroluminescence requires an AC inverter that your shop will have to install. And that'll add to the cost, but uh, also improve the lighting as in incandescent uh, is known to be uh, inferior to electroluminescence as far as uh, ease on the eye. The next uh, step up, perhaps the ultimate, would be the uh, custom plastic overlay to replace the old brittle plastic that we find in uh, a lot of the older aircraft. Uh, the benefit of the custom overlay is that it has embedded lighting uh, and it also adds to the aesthetics of the airplane. So you've got uh, a flat panel uh, metal look uh, with the ease of uh, fabricating a new piece of plastic. And uh, let's go on out to an airplane and see a finished product. And this is what a completed panel overlay looks like. And each of the instruments in the panel have their own lighting built into the overlay. You can find out more about cockpit lighting in the February 2010 issue of Aviation Consumer at aviationconsumer.com. Thanks for watching.